what is going on with the crying again i think it's just a uh animatronic a mannequin with a speaker in it but we have some stuff in here we have this here's another premonition Let's take a look at this first Okay, that was Jamie struggling on the dock with the guy. All right. Anything else in the room? Nope. Let's check it out. What's behind the mattress? That looks like a real head with said microphone or speaker. go I knew he was alive <laughs> trophy earned Phoenix I'm guessing it's because we uh, we saved Charlie and um, before we dive into more with him though mr. Dumet I presume Kate found a book by Joe Morello. The author's picture is the man who, who ferried them to the island. And then Mark found an FBI ID card belonging to Agent Hector Monday. So we still do not truly know who Mr. Dumet is. Jamie listened to a tape of Hector Monday assaulting Manny Sherman. Yep. Yeah, unless the name is completely made up, which is possible. Oh, it was animatronic. I actually thought that looked... Well, so we do know, yes, using real body parts, though. So skin, maybe even the head of a woman. Real body parts have been used in its construction. It's the woman from the vacation photo. The woman is Michelle Morello. She was murdered by Dumet. Oh, so... Yeah, so... I thought she was crying because oh yeah because the daughter died and the daughter was Joseph's daughter. Yeah, and I'm still trying to figure out the timing on all of this. That's what's not making I'm really struggling trying to piece the timing together. Anything in here? Cuz Joseph is not that old. At least he doesn't look old. All right, you open. I'm thinking you're not going to. So we've been on that side, obviously, because this is how we got into the furnace. See, what is it they want us to look at here? Definitely feel like I'm missing something. And I also feel like there's been a fair number of things like that where you think they want you to see something, but I'm just not seeing it. Now, it could be tied into maybe we see something based on our decisions. And so based on past decisions, that's why I'm not seeing something here. That could be.
Does he still have his lighter? Oh, no, he does not. That's right. He fell, and then the lighter fell, and then the lighter was gone. So, I'm obviously, I'm guessing... Look at those white walls. Uh, I'm guessing the uh, killer took it. You definitely look like something we're going to be able to move here. Yep, there's a push. Locked. All right, let's head back here. Maybe. We want to go in here, though. Another coin. All right. No, that, I was going to say, is that another furnace? Oh, it could be, though. For bodies, you roll, them, you roll it on in. It's not the walk-in furnace that Charlie was in. Did I miss anything over here by any chance? I don't think so. So one of the things I love about these games is you just get thinking of so many different things. It's kind of fun. FBI jacket. Can we open you now by any chance? No. This is the room we were just looking into, correct? That's locked, so we have to go in. Oh, I would like the lighter back. Oh, it is dark. Find a way out of the workshop. Find a way to power the workshop. I mean, we don't have anything, do we? No. Huh. I cannot see a darn thing. Is that a torch? And obviously nothing is popping. Although something is right there. Is it his lighter? Badge. FBI Department of Justice. Are we, are we assuming this is, uh, whatchamacallit's? Yeah, Hector Monday. Which I don't know how we know that, but okay. So do I still need to figure something out in here? Oh, all right, there we go.
Is he supposed to be Monday? See the yellow slicker. Just because he has the yellow raincoat on. It's like people were assuming the yellow raincoat earlier was someone specific just because it's, they saw someone with a yellow raincoat. Crush can. Materials. Tan, tall, rising or finished hinge, thinner material. Joints, hinges, note layering order. Yeah, this is like how, basically the plan for putting together his animatronics. Light con contraction. Keep loose with pins. Fingernail. Something skin grafts. Unmitted waste disposal unit, crushing force. Keep off. Entanglement, yeah, I would say that's entanglement hazard right there. Remember to switch off and lock out. Stay clear of the moving belt. Evacuate via the immediate emergency ladders. Ooh, do we need to find out where those ladders are? Are we going to get pushed on that? Let's turn it off real quick. Oh, I can't. All right, let's take a look at this guy over here then. Do you think it was a real person? Two, three. Please, please. I'm thinking that's the agent. All right, so one, he just kind of squirmed around a little more. Wow, his voice changed there. He sounded like a like a child. No. Please. Just leave them alone. Leave them alone. Um Okay, I just wanted to make sure it doesn't say something else. Just leave them alone. We'll do whatever you want. Huh. Well, it looks like we're crawling through. Why do, why do you have to turn it on? Can't you just crawl through without turning it on? Oh. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Is that because I missed that QTE? Dude, move. Are 
Are those their bags? Those look like scripts. From the Good Times, Chicago 19. We saw that before, right? That sounds familiar. There's our ladder. Jamie. It's me. Get in here. Jamie? <sighs> Thank God. How is this? Pleased to see you too, Kate. Glad you're alive. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry? That was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. In one of the bedrooms, there was a body, a woman. She'd been decapitated. It was Joseph Morello's wife. I saw a photo of her. She was called Michelle. So we're not his first victims. She was called Michelle? Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. Twenty-three. Jesus. Whoa. What is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. It's like a nerve center for the whole building. It's a director's suite. Maybe we can use it to find a way out. Look for something to unlock the outer doors. This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Wow, investigate control room. Check this yeah. out. This is a lot. This is top end gear. I mean, I know he's rich, but you could launch a rocket from in here. Charlie would say this guy is a fractured psyche, that he's wearing a mask to put what he's doing on a different personality. That's probably just his theory because he can't reconcile a human doing this stuff i would agree with that take a look at this what is that the guy we saw murdered was it set up there was no groundskeeper why would he do that to scare us 
to get us in the mood for his fun and games. Nice. So are they saying, so like, that's why what I mentioned that. It is? I think it's a mistake to say he's just crazy. He is in full control of what he's doing. Because when they said they murdered, he murdered the groundskeeper. He's just not wired like the rest of us. It was simply because of the raincoat. Crazy implies out of control. Look at this place. This is methodical. That's not crazy. No. So are they saying that even whenever Wait, we he's saw... wearing the mask as part of the performance. At best, maybe he's insecure about something and it gives him confidence. Insecure. Like, low self-esteem? Is he uncomfortable at parties? Does, did his mommy not hug him enough? Anytime we saw the that yellow... Oh, can my. Definitely be a factor, but... It could be a shitty dad just as much, or an uncle, any adult figure, really. Don't you read any of our research? Mm, I just set up the lights. Are we good? Are we good? I'm sure he fits the profile. You're not. Bullied as a kid, unchecked anger. As an adult, he's either an extreme overachiever or a cipher. Nothing between. Anytime we saw that being in a position of power, especially over women. But why this? Why us? Aside from the unhealthy obsession with H.H. H. Holmes, he's copying the M.O. Clearly, he identifies with Holmes somehow. How did he build all this? Yeah. Can we use this gear to find a way out? Maybe we can open those shutters in the lobby. All right, <laughs> I had to do this. Wow. Um, anytime we saw that guy walking around, A, was that an animatronic? Or B, was it... So I guess we're calling that guy Dumet now, right? The, the killer, the current killer. Was that just him wearing that? And Because I knew right away, I was like, eh, just because he's wearing that doesn't mean that that is the groundskeeper or whatever. But check this out. Look at how he's tracking them. He's been tracking us since we arrived. Mark was last seen in the basement. Charlie Furnace crossed out. He's not really dead though, obviously, but he, he must think he, that he is. Wait, Charlie, what? but they're all crossed out. So why would, oh, because it's the last one and it's crossed out, okay. Anything else sticking out? What's the pendulum room? All right. The Lonnet crew. So this obviously is also how he's getting all the information on everybody. So was that Monday's blood and body or did Monday kill? Uh, just this, this must be all of their bedrooms. What would this monitor be? Subject, my order uh, from Amber Harris to Brandon Day sent June 6, 2017. Thank you, Brandon. I have instructed our maker to proceed. 
We will keep you updated on progress with photographs at each stage as promised. As discussed previously, we'll keep the production discreet. Good morning, Amber. Thanks for your reply. I'm putting my mind at rest. Yes, the cost is perfectly, perfectly fine. Please go ahead. Reminder, this should remain confidential. Good morning, Brandon. I can assure you that all of our custom masks are very robust. They are often used in long-running theater productions and filming intense action scenes. The material used for your mask is a plastic resin-coated wood, which provides a toughened strength and is highly durable. Total cost will be eighteen hundred dollars, excluding taxes. You let me know if this is accept acceptable. I will instruct your maker to proceed. All right. So I probably should have. I'm reading this stuff on the right because it's just out of habit. It's very clear to see on the left. Uh, but I probably should have read that first or, you know, from bottom to, to up, but it also works. Okay. That keeps popping near these doors and I keep thinking that it means I can go in a door or at least I'm just noticing it there. Okay, so that's full circle. It was this door over here? Oh, can we actually go down? Looks like we can, but let's go up. Let's we got to get up to get down, right? Cause this is, yeah, this will be the top level and then we'll go down. Uh, hallway. So I wonder if these doors lead into that, like that area. Oh. H.H. Holmes costume recreation. There's that paraphernalia where you got the hat from. Some swatches. Let's think Chicago police badge. Yep. Now where's this right here? Maybe. Costume design. Uh, Dumet put a lot of research and effort in creating a look that mimicked H.H. Holmes. Email thread discussing custom mask. Someone called Brandon Day ordered a mask. What is this? Interesting. Not sure why that came through. So it came through really soft for me. It was hard for me to hear. Not sure why that is. Because the other ones have not been like that. Look at you. See the doors. Over here. Or the walls. I mean the walls that that move. Look at this. It saw his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. All right. What's your plan? Uh, 
Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. So how do we get him to go down that hall? One of us is going to have to be bait. Yep. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. No, no, no way. If something goes wrong, one of us will be dead. Yeah, I'm not super into doing it, but I am done being scared of what's around every corner. There's no second chances here. Who's gonna do it? It's my plan. I'll be the bait. Jamie, no. Let's find another way. You don't have to do this. One of us has to. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. Nervous, I need that, or confident you should take it. Um, no, she should take it. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Please come back. That's my plan. Wow. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. Be careful, please. I'm on it. You'll be careful? If I see Demet, he'll wish I hadn't. Don't. Be serious, please. Just tell me you'll be careful. Tell me I'll see you again. Aaron, I promise. You'll see me again. Good, because I think I, I think I love you. Or something. <laughs> I, I mean... Well, now I have to come back. We knew they were, they were progressing that way. So, yeah. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> Oh, so yeah, that would be the doors. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so I had to find Dumet and then lure him into that hallway. I don't know if there's going to be anything else. So I'm trying to think of, I really don't want to go back through all of the premonitions. I want to try and remember them, right? Is there anything with her and Dumet? Oh, the hall. keep to the right. She gets crushed in one of them. It's And it's the white tiled wall. Dude, this level, oh, sh they did say, oh, look at he's got numbers starting. Because I saw this back here. That's a six. He's starting to number them. And he's, they did say he's building out or this floor is a work in progress. Fire? Is this on the map? Or is that just part of... Looks like little flames, but, or is that just part of the actual... Oh, no, I guess it is part of the wallpaper. What if he planned on getting them even in there, and this is part of his plan? Like, there's parts that's not mapped. Fuck! 
Got me. Oh, shimmying. But I don't see the walls, so I think we're good. And I hope bringing the screwdriver with Jamie was smart instead of letting Kate keep it. More rooms being built. Whoa, all right. Have we seen this room? I know we just recently saw this room on the monitor when they saw Dumet. But I don't think we've been in this room. So this would lead into that, right? Yeah. Oh, premonition, there we go. That looked like Mark inside that chamber. Is that something that can happen again? Or was that an option when, like, when that happened to us? When we went through that, would that have been an, another option? Or another scenario that was possible? Yeah, we've not been in this room before. Although that looks familiar. We've seen that before. Oh, the only thing in here is the door. Bluff. Stay the fuck away from me, you psycho. That was a horrible bluff. What did that even mean? <sighs> Do it now, close it now. Um No, wait, cuz she's trying to time it. So they don't get caught in the same time. Yep. Yeah. 
Oh my god! What is it? A button. There's a reverse symbol on it. 